how to style denim shorts this summer 2023 with lots of outfit ideas and inspiration. Hello ladies, I hope you're all really well and had a wonderful week. Today, as the title would suggest, I'm sharing all my favourite outfit ideas with one pair of denim shorts. I put a bit of a poll out over on my Instagram page to see what you would all like to see next, and the unanimous decision was me styling denim shorts. I'm really hopeful there's a few different outfit ideas in there to suit everyone's different tastes. And as always, do let me know your favourite looks in the comments below. So in this first outfit idea of how to style your denim shorts, I've gone with a fairly classic look. Just simply pairing my shorts with a favorite summer shirt. Now this one is actually made from a blend of linen and cotton. And the reason I feel particularly comfortable in this outfit and why I probably reach for it an awful lot actually is because the shape of it is very oversized. I think if it was a little bit tighter, I perhaps wouldn't reach for it quite so often as I do. I like my shirts to feel quite big and flowing and oversized. That's what seems to make me feel the most comfortable, certainly when it's really hot outside. And of course, with that particular fabric composition as well, that does make it even more comfortable and breathable too. Now, although you could leave the shirt out, I do feel because it's particularly oversized that it needs a little bit of a tuck or a bow or a knot at the waistband just to give my body a little bit more shape. However, I would equally wear this denim shirt with this pair of shorts and leave it open as well. Perhaps as a throw on over the top of your bikini if you're on your holidays, or if you're out and about, I would just add a tank underneath instead. That then enables you to leave the shirt open and go for a much more relaxed outfit overall. So for this next outfit idea, I've gone with a little bit of a French Parisian style vibe, I suppose. Just adding in one of my favorite striped Breton tops. So I wanted this look to feel a little bit smarter, a bit more elevated. So I decided to go for belly flats on my feet. Now, rather than go with my other two-tone belly flats that I've got, which are white with a black toe, which I wear an awful lot, I do find when I'm wearing something like denim shorts, I want to try and elongate my legs as long as possible. So I decided to go for my belly flats, which are predominantly a very neutral tone that's similar to my skin color. That way it just helps the line of your leg run all the way down and then look a little bit longer than they might actually be. So if you equally feel a little bit out of your comfort zone in denim shorts, think about styling it with a pair of quite neutral to your skin color flats on your feet. It really does help lengthen you out a bit. Now I've put the jacket on here just so I had something to clip the microphone to, but in actual fact, if I did need a jacket with this outfit, this is probably what I would wear. Now if this this particular top with the three quarter sleeves is a little bit too warm for where you live. You could just switch it out very easily for any Breton top that, or t-shirt that you might have in your own wardrobe. But for me, with our great British summers, this is definitely the sort of top that I need and like to wear a lot. Now, when it comes to how to style denim shorts, there's one thing that I do every single summer, and that would be using them as a bit of a cover-up. In fact, I always seem to take a pair of denim shorts on holiday with me for that very reason. Obviously, denim is a very hardy fabric, so I just find them very handy to have around the pool as a cover-up. Even if your bikini or your swimsuit is a little bit wet, it doesn't matter. That's gonna dry really quick in the denim, doesn't seem to make a mark as it might do in other types of fabrics. The other item I've paired with this outfit idea would of course be my beautiful kimono that I got many years ago, but I still love it just as much today as I did in the beginning. Again, a bit like denim shorts, I don't think I ever really go on holiday without packing at least one. And in fact, I'm always on the hunt for lovely new options to add into my wardrobe as well. Now, as you can see in this outfit idea, I've added a camisole top. This is a knitted version that I've got in green and I've got it in the gold actually. And that as a combination to maybe pop out to the shops, it's just a very relaxed kind of outfit idea is obviously another way I would wear it too. But I do particularly like kimonos styled with denim shorts as again I think it's quite a contrast of styles, a little bit bohemian with a very relaxed nature but they blend really nicely together. Like a lot of these outfits today and probably inevitably as we're talking about denim shorts they're all quite beachy looks but hopefully as you'll have seen throughout these outfit ideas some really simple style tips that you can reach for to go on a more classic or a little bit of a Parisian vibe or keep it very beachy, relaxed a little bit Californian. 
If I'm going to do double denim throughout summer, then I would do it something like this. With that contrast of tones, I think that's the way I prefer to wear it. So wearing it with the denim jacket is obviously how I would wear the denim shorts when the sun's gone down and it's got a little bit cooler. I think the nature of this particular one going a little bit oversized and sizing up as well actually, just helps add a bit of dimension and contrast in terms of shapes with the whole outfit idea. And I do really, really love all the khaki tones that we're seeing an awful lot of this spring summer. I don't know about you, but it's one of my favorite tones. And certainly when it's contrasted against those lovely brown tones as well. So on my feet, I've got quite a light brown pair of sandals that I bought a few years ago actually now. These are the ones that always end up coming on holiday with me because I can just literally slip into them. With my belt, I've gone slightly darker tan. This is a really nice one that makes a knot detail at the waistband, say something a little bit different. My tank is obviously quite basic but again I went for a slightly thicker cotton rather than anything too thin and also with my tanks I make sure the cut of them around the arms is actually quite wide. I do find tanks if they're too narrow can leave you with that well in my case slightly unsightly bulge at my armpit which I'm not particularly fond of so I do tend to search out those tanks that come a little bit wider for that very reason. Now obviously any handbag would work with this outfit but I just wanted to introduce another element of brown so I finished with my Simi bag that I got from Palem Paris. Don't forget to let me know, by the way, your favorite outfit idea as we go along in the comments below. So in this next outfit idea, I've gone with that typical laid back California kind of style. A personal favorite of mine really, particularly throughout summer. It's a little bit like Australian style actually, it always feels very effortlessly chic, pretty low key I guess, but it still manages to make me feel put together. Now the items I'm wearing are actually pretty basic I suppose, but because I've gone for the best quality that I could afford that was within my own budget, I think it's the quality that really shines through. So as you can see, I am just wearing a very, very basic ribbed tank top but this one has been made from organic cotton and it's quite heavyweight too which I think is the difference that it gives you a nicer shape on your top half. Then staying with that California vibe I opted for my gorgeous Jenny Kane cardigan. I got this one a few months ago and I've worn it so many times it was definitely a great piece to have in my wardrobe. I just really love the shape and even the fact that it's, oh, I don't think I can stand tall enough, the fact that it's longer than my shorts and it's covering them, I actually quite like that. I think that's a really nice style to recreate. It's super comfy to wear and I think the color is particularly versatile in my own wardrobe. It seems to go with all those neutral shades really, really nicely. So another very comfortable look for me of how I will genuinely be wearing my denim shorts this summer. A couple of items that have just arrived and I actually thought they both work really nicely with denim shorts too. Now obviously these are both pretty casual, everyday kind of outfits, but still feeling very chic and elegant, just in a more laid back kind of fashion. I love this linen blend waistcoat that I went for in a light talk tone, and then keeping it really simple with the linen blouse that I'm wearing today. This blouse is very light and oversized, so I thought it would be perfect for hot summer days this season. So this time, as you can see, I've gone with something fairly pretty on my top half. And I actually really like the contrast of that pretty floaty, quite frilly looking top sat against those denim shorts, which are obviously a little bit more laid back because mine particularly have got those frayed edges. So I think the juxtaposition of the two together actually works really nicely. This top is actually one I bought last summer. And although probably it's not still in stock right now, they do this style of tops and blouses really, really well. So I shall link some new favorites that I found on their website recently. But it's quite an A-line shape, which I find particularly comfortable once it's really hot outside. It's just nice and floaty and loose fitting. You've got these pretty little straps over the shoulders and then having them made from embroidery on glace just adds to that pretty vibe as well. Coincidentally, David actually really dislikes this particular top of mine. He thinks I look like one of those toilet dolls with all the frills on. But that's exactly why I like it. I'm very much into my frills and pretty floaty details throughout summer. I've paired it with hints of gold with my sandals and my hooped earrings. And then to finish, I decided to go for my plain straw bag as I think that contrasted the nicest against both the gold and the baby blue of my top. 
I really hope today's how to start video has given you lots of outfit ideas to recreate with your own denim shorts. And hopefully in essence proves that this summer staple is definitely worth having in your own wardrobe. Don't forget to click the link in the description box below and take a look at that full jewellery collection from the lovely Gingerberry. And indeed all the links to everything I've worn today are equally in the description box below. Have a wonderful week everyone and I hope to see you back here on Sunday for lots more fashion styling tips and inspiration. Take care.